In today's video I'm gonna show you an animation that is in the style of Imankazi. It's a pretty cool one and after you watch the tutorial you will be able to incorporate it in your work. So with that being said we're gonna get straight into Adobe After Effects. Alright so here we got the comp 1080 by 1920. So for starters I'm gonna grab the pen tool and we're gonna kind of create a line for the chart. Do something like that then we're gonna go down and up again. Okay should be perfect. I'm just gonna quickly call it line. The next thing we need to do is head over here and we're gonna grab the ellipse tool. Now I'm gonna create a circle in the middle. You can hold shift to make it even. Then recenter. Then here we're gonna change it to solid color. I'm gonna also change it to white. Hit OK. And then we're gonna recenter it. I'm gonna call it point. Then what we're gonna do is head over here, open up add, trim paths, go here, keyframe end, move it forward and change it to 0%. Okay, that's too slow. So we're just gonna squeeze it in and we're gonna probably apply the mid graph. Then we need to make that ball follow the line. So in order to do this, I'm gonna head over to shape, open up path, click here, and then we're gonna hit control C. In order to copy, I'm gonna open up position in the point and I'm gonna paste it here, but make sure that the time indicator is in the very beginning. So right now the point is on the right path, but the problem is that it's not really matching the speed of the line. So for this, I'm gonna hit U here and we're just gonna select all these keyframes and grab the last one, but you need to hold Alt. So I'm gonna hold Alt, and align it with the last keyframe over here. And that way the job is still not done because we need to apply the same graph as before. So if I apply the mid graph, it's gonna be perfectly following the line. Here's the thing, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to do it without flow. So I'm gonna right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, go here and we need to select these two points, squeeze them in and then grab the other two points, which are the keyframes and also squeeze them to the middle. So now we can basically select these two layers, pre-compose them, call it line, hit enter. And the next thing I want to do is create a new solid. We're gonna rename it to grid and I'm gonna hit enter. Now I'm gonna head over to effect, go to generate and pick grid. I'm gonna drop it underneath the line and here we need to change the border to let's say 2.5 and we're just gonna play around with the values a little bit. So again it's all up to you how you set it up. I think something like that should do. Okay it should be all right. Maybe the border could be at 1. Okay 2 is gonna be better. So that's what we have so far and now I'm gonna pre-compose these two again. Call it line plus grid hit enter and what I want to do is grab the rounded rectangle tool make sure you're not selecting anything and we're just gonna create a shape in the middle. You can again hold shift, I'm gonna recenter, then make sure that you got a fill color over here. We're gonna duplicate it one more time and we're gonna change it up. So we're gonna turn on stroke and turn off fill. So let's rename it. So now what we want to do is head over to the modes and here I'm gonna go to track mode in our line plus grid and change it to fill. And I'm also going to duplicate fill. I'm gonna turn on the visibility, drop it underneath the line. I'm gonna right click, go to layer styles and click inner shadow. Head over here and we're just gonna decrease the distance to zero and bump up the size. Now we're gonna head over here to change the color. Something like gray could work perfectly fine here. You know what, I'm gonna go back here and we're gonna change the grid, actually the border in the grid to one. Now again, I'm gonna pre-compose everything. We can call it all. And to this, I'm gonna add light sweep. So that's what we have and I want to get rid of that line over here. I just want to have it on the edges. So for this, I'm gonna decrease the sweep intensity to zero and bump up the edge intensity. And we're also gonna bump up the width. As I'm looking at this, I feel like we can go to all and here I'm gonna decrease the stroke a bit. Let's say to 1.2. Then we're gonna go here to the main and here what I want to do is have that light sweep passing by the right top corner. So for this, we're just gonna drag the direction somewhere here, keyframe, hit U and we're just gonna make it pass by. I'm gonna go to the first keyframe and just decrease the value a bit to offset it. Let's extend and it should be all good. Now we're ready to create a new camera. I'm gonna pick a preset of 35 millimeters and make sure you get a one note camera because we're gonna use the technique from a previous tutorial where we were changing the camera. Now I'm gonna create a new null object, rename to cam control and I'm gonna parent the camera to the null. Let's change the color. I'm gonna hit F4 and we're gonna turn everything into 3D. So now I'm gonna go to the position in cam control and move back a little bit. Now I'm gonna create a keyframe, move forward and we're gonna get closer. Okay, that's a bit too slow. Okay, so that's what we have so far. I kind of want to make that movement a bit faster. And when we're having that mid graph at the peak, I want to switch the camera. So I'm going to hit Ctrl Shift D. And here in the camera, we're going to open up, go to transform and we're going to get closer. Just like that. We're going to go to the top right corner. We could also duplicate cam control one, hit U, delete the last keyframe, parent one to two, and we can slide in a sharp movement somewhere here. Let's select both, apply the mid graph, adjust the timing. 
then we can extend that keyframe a bit and adjust the graph. Then I'm gonna go back to the line, actually to line plus grid, and here we're gonna add deep glow. Regular glow is fine as well. We're gonna bump up the radius, change the exposure to 0.5, and we should have a nice look. I could have had that corner a little bit lower, but that's fine. Let's turn on the motion blur. And here on top, we're gonna add an adjustment layer with vignette, and also we're gonna rename it. Then we're gonna create another one, which is a noise. We're gonna add the effect. I'm gonna change it to 10 and uncheck use color noise. Then I'm gonna create another one, which is gonna be posterize time. We're gonna change it to 13 this time, and let's see, so much difference with the effects. Okay, that's sick. We could probably adjust the camera over here, so I'm gonna go to position and do it like that. Then you got so much flexibility with this, you can, for example, head over to our precomp all and just play around with Y rotation, and maybe Z, then a little bit of X. Let's see now. That's so dope. I'm gonna go back to the original. And on top, we're gonna add transform. I'm gonna alt leave position, type in wiggle, and in brackets 1.2,12. And also we need to drop that layer below posterize time. So it's also affected. Then we could probably create a new solid. I'm gonna call it BG, hit enter, drop it underneath, and add the effect called gradient ramp. I'm gonna change it to radial ramp. And here we need to drag that point to the middle. And then I'm actually gonna change the color. So on the bottom it's gonna be black and here at the start color it's gonna be white. We could also turn on 3D so it's affected. I'm gonna hit P, move it away, scale it up and then we can decrease the opacity. Just extra touch in the background. i would probably just go to our shake and I'll change the value over here. I feel like it's too intense. So I'm gonna change it to 0.9 and in the second value it's gonna be 10. Okay, that's sick. I just figured one thing, we're too close to the edge so for this, I'm gonna head over to our line. So if I go to all, line plus grid, then I'm gonna pre-compose these two layers, call it line plus point. And we just scale it down a bit, it should be all good. So now we can adjust the camera a bit over here. And let's see now, let's just squeeze in that keyframe and we should be all good. And by the way, for the folks who don't like posterize time, that's how it's looking. Ooh, you might have a point with this. You know what? I feel like we could actually leave it like that. I just feel like the noise is too intense, so we're just gonna change it to 7%. I just changed it to 32 bits. It's better quality, but it's rendering for a bit longer. And maybe one more extra touch, which would be adding text over here. And we need to fade it in, in the right timing. Okay, let's see now. Oh, glad we got deep glow because my light turned off. That was uh, a very poor joke, I'm sorry for that. That's actually looking pretty good. So here you got the final result. I really like that style. It's very clean and minimalistic. I feel like editors have been gravitating more towards that minimalistic style. So with that being said, I'm gonna wrap it up here and I will see you tomorrow. Cheers guys.